Okay, welcome back to Enemy Action Kharkov, German Solo. Uh, this was supposed to be the start of the impulses of turn 5, but first I have to uh, show you I have made some adjustment because uh, as I was uh, reviewing uh, the last impulses of turn 4, I found out that I made some mistakes. To be honest, I've completely botched third tank uh, army movement and yeah uh, thankfully it was only the movement that was uh, seriously affected but uh, as it was the last turn I was able uh, to fix it so let me show you uh, the changes and uh, this of course then uh, led to some adjustments to guard placement of garrisons and uh, stuff so thankfully it was all minor uh, first uh, these units ended up here and not uh, more uh, uh, in a more east uh, direction and so I had to adjust the garrisons uh, here so uh, no harm done the other units uh, well more units gravitated towards Poltava and it's going to be tough for us so again uh, garrisons had to you know they were a little bit different from um, what you have seen already uh well the main difference is we got a garrison here so those garrisons here uh got there was a unit here no it shouldn't be there so uh but placing this garrison this also um, eliminated those garrisons because german supply can't be traced uh to that hex and also uh this battle here i had forgotten uh, a hit so yeah it's now just uh, one unit remaining here and of course it's still isolated so I'm um, expect expected to be out of action pretty soon so uh, I mean that's uh, that's all that's the whole situation here situation remains critical turn 5 we got some reinforcements of course but the Soviets are uh, sitting at 22 uh, points just uh, two away from uh, achieving a strategic uh, defeat so okay uh, that's the mistakes and uh, I will uh, proceed with the impulses okay so this is turn five Soviet impulse number one uh, drawing our two cards as usual Ooh. Okay, so uh, they're both uh, supplemental cards, same command value, so it's going to be lowest uh, ID, card ID, so this is uh, card number 5, this is 14, so yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a problem. So, uh, let's check first for event, oh yes, and there is an event, it's still 5. There is a command event for 40th Army and it's the forward support event. Okay, so the forward support event reads uh, Place a forward support marker in a hex located outside of but adjacent to the current to the current Soviet support line, it's the western line. Doing so puts all hexes within five hexes of the forward support market in Soviet support. Prefer the placement hex that puts the most supplied and currently unsupported Soviet units support B southernmost, C westernmost. And it doesn't apply if less than two units would be put in support or if both forward markets are in play or if the Soviet deck is empty. So none of this applies. So we're going to place a forward support market and we have to find the hex uh, that places in support. Uh, the highest number of units and if they're tied then uh, we go to the tiebreakers so yeah to spare some time i have um tried various hexes and uh, counted uh <laughs> i've used every dice i, I have had uh, uh, running around so yeah it's not consistent but okay uh if i place forward market in this hex this is the support line uh, as you can see and if I place it here then it would put in support five units here I counted seven units uh, eight four and uh, same goes here this one uh, however uh, puts 14 units 
and support and this person supplied of course and the others go uh, nine eight uh, six and then the missing so this hex uh, maybe it could also be uh, this hex uh, the rules uh, say that uh, forward support markers do not affect um, placement of movement or of German units and stuff like that. I wasn't sure if I could put one here, maybe in all probability I could, but again it would be the same number of units, 14, and then uh, it would be the tiebreaker, uh, which is southernmost, so uh, it would go here. So I don't know if, uh, may maybe, maybe I have made a mistake, so um, I'm going to, yeah, you know, so, yeah, I haven't gone uh, any further than this hex uh, with a with a four because uh, no more units would be added than four so yeah that's the best i could do there so yeah that, that's the situation and i think this hex puts uh is the best one that puts 14 uh units and it's these units it's uh one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, and this one 14 because it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hexes uh, away from forward support. So, yeah, it's support, it's not supply, it doesn't, we can just count hexes no matter what terrain or presence of German units and uh, stuff like that. So, yeah. I mean, now the whole of the tank army, which is going to be activated, is as uh, a going to be in support and yeah the, the, this is going to you know present some problems for us uh, defending Poltava and stuff so yeah I'm placing the full wood support marker here and yeah I will let me yeah and let me uh, get uh, the others out of the way so this is it so uh, we uh, discard the 40th army card because it was used as a command event and now it's uh, the third tank army card and uh, there is also one event here uh, that could be applied uh, but uh, we have to take the commands in order so the first command is assign one replacement point now it's turn five and then it's activate all units in army the event uh, uh, will only happen if we can't activate all units in uh if we can't activate the army because uh yeah i don't know how this oh uh, yeah it would happen if it was an auxiliary card or whatever so okay let me activate a uh, third trunk army and see what happens okay these are the units of third tank army yeah of course i would forget uh here and there is also one unit in the reserve box and i hope we I'm not forgetting it, uh, yeah, that's the last unit, number 33, up there, and you keep forgetting, huh? Okay, I think I've got everything right now. So, let's go to the uh, movement methods, and uh, now it's turn five, so we have to be careful. Uh, okay, uh, of course, I forgot to mention uh, objective or relocation but the objective is right uh, there the Voronezh front objective is right here but uh, it will only uh, leave the game uh, if rather when <laughs> I think it's when a Soviet unit enters this uh, hex otherwise it will remain here so okay we go to movement methods and now uh it's okay uh the front objective is still in place so we will use uh it's in five we will use uh, the movement methods in 921 uh, because the front objective marker for the active front is still in place in play sorry uh so it's not going to be 922 it's going to be still the uh 921 method methods so uh movement method one descending order take vp hex and uh, no vp hex to be taken 
and uh, well at least uh, yeah they can take any bb hex at least uh, not uh, one in mm. okay so now it's going to be movement method two ascending order uh, adjacent to German VP hex and near objective and uh, this is uh, where our problems will start so move to hex closer to it's it is ascending order uh, or within four hexes of front objective and adjacent to German VP hex okay uh, so yeah they will going to go to Pultava so okay uh, number one uh, it starts adjacent to most preferred VP hex yeah <laughs> doesn't get any better than that uh doesn't move at all but except by 925 so yes this is this is a unit is going to move only by 925 and okay now let's see what 925 does so this unit applies to all moves okay so proceed prefer hex within operational limit mm. Oh no, the whole map is in operation system 5. Uh, the whole map is in operation limit. Causing surround, uh, I mean, mm. okay, these two hexes are controlled. If I move it here, it, could, it will go to 5. Yeah, it can't go any further here. It, uh, no, it wouldn't go to control. So, no, causing surround. In Soviet support, ah, no, yeah, that's interesting now because the Soviet support is here. Well, the line is here, but we've got the Soviet support market. And uh, okay, so uh, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, okay, five, five. So uh, it's either of these hexes are not in support, so it will prefer this hex by 925, which is in support. So actually it doesn't it doesn't move at all yeah because these two would be uh yeah okay in soviet support if the, if not for the marker then none of these hexes would be in support and we would go to the next but uh yeah that's interesting yeah so okay now what uh no no we would have we haven't got number two no we haven't got number two so uh Number three, it will definitely uh, move adjacent, okay, and and yeah, I can't see any restrictions, so it could go. Uh, let's see, it could go one here and stop, or it could go one, two. Five here and stop of course or it could just go three here and stop because uh could it go one here oh can can go one here and still able to trace supply yeah I have no problem tracing supply can you find them but so it will go one one crossing the river two, five, and six here and surround. Ooh, what's the tiebreakers? Closest to the unit's objective, yeah. And it would be uh, empty hex, okay. Further in compass direction, further in compass direction, west, yes. Doesn't say anything about uh, in or closest to Soviet support. Yes, that would be closest to Soviet support. But then it would nine twenty five, wouldn't it? And yeah, th this also would be closest to Soviet support. These two, okay. And then highest hex number, yeah, highest hex number, uh, well, highest hex number, it would be this one, well, uh, actually it would be that one, but uh, that one would be, 
in or closest to Soviet support because uh, these two hexes are closest to Soviet support. This isn't, so it's between these two hexes. So initially, it could move here, but then it would 925 and it can 925, uh, or it could do 925 uh, here because it could go uh, one, two, five here or it can turn 925 here because it would be from here when it's where it started it would be one three no one two one here two for the river three for the goods five and six here yeah so it could be 925 here and so by 925 then it will adjust because it says prefer within operational limit. I mean, none of these sex of the three sexes are within operation. Oh, yeah, everything is operational limit. Sorry, but got confused with support because in surround of German unit, uh, and that's how we use Poltava. So it adjusts here, and I oh, know. Wait, 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 wait. No, it's not. They don't control this hex. Sorry, no, it's not close around. Uh, in Soviet support, uh, none of these three are. Not adjustment to Soviet unit. Yes, that's it. Not adjustment to Soviet unit, adjustment to the same German unit because these two, the cubes, uh, were adjusting to this Soviet unit. So yeah, we, we're nearly surrounded because only this hex is not in control and next unit is definitely going to put us out, out of our misery thinking uh, and the game. Well, uh, nothing much that can be done, I suppose. So, yeah, okay. This is going to be tricky. Okay, now, uh, okay, that was number three, and now we've got, oh, we've got number four. Number four, okay, uh, adjusting to German VP hex and near objectives. So now, could this unit reach Poltava? Because that would be clearly, or would will it remain there? So it could go um, two here, breaking zone of control, uh, four, five, six. Uh, no, two, two, because of control, three crossing the river, four into here, five, six. No, they can't reach Pultava, uh, because it would, I, I'm not take, talking about, uh, Dinner Petrovsk, it would be further away. So, uh, okay, prefer, no, or within four hexes, or four, and that's just, no, no. It's not, it's not, is it within four? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's not already. It is adjusting, okay. If start adjust to most within four hexes, no, it doesn't start within four hexes. So it's open to move and okay, that's it. So number five, no, number five on the map. So number six, it's the same. It is already adjusting, but it's not instructed not to move because it's not within four hexes. Of its objective so yeah that goes it so then it's number six uh we've got seven no but we have got to number nine so number nine uh adjusting to german vp hex and the new objective and i think this is the unit that will surround uh our uh because it can go just uh one two uh, sorry one three stop it can go one two and stop and be closer and can go one two here yes and stop oh no it's one three four yeah so uh it's these three hexes so by tiebreakers closest okay empty hex so it's between two, these two further in the compass direction so it would go uh one here and uh, its infantry doesn't get affected by the river. Two here for the woods, and four here, one, 
three, four, yeah, uh, right there. And I think it will remain there because then by 925, uh, operation limit okay, causing surround, yeah, this definitely is causing surround because then it controls this hex. Oh, sorry, the same would happen here, wouldn't it? No, yeah, causing surround. Yeah, so I have to take it, yeah, into account as well. Uh, yeah, that's between these two, so both are causing surround, aren't they? Yeah, so that was close. In Soviet support, none of them are not adjacent to Soviet unit occupied. Okay, so uh, that's it, that's it anyway. Uh, so yeah, this unit is currently surrounded. So number nine, and uh, then we've got uh, number 13. It will do the same. It's either uh, what are his options? Uh, it's three here and stop, uh, or uh, one it's here. Of course, it can reach this hex. It's here. It can't. It can reach this hex. It's uh, no. It's four. Yeah. Five, six, seven. Yeah, it can reach all these hexes. E can reach this hex also. Can reach uh, it can go one for the river, three, four, five here. Yeah, it can it's seven. So it's one for the river and three for the goods, four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> okay. So one, two, three, and three, six. Okay, it can't reach this hex, but uh okay, let's go to tiebreakers first. Closest to the units, okay, empty hex, yeah, so it would be one of these three. Uh, furthest in compass direction, this is, yeah. It would end up here. You can't get any, oh, this unit is dead, okay. Uh, furthest in compass direction, okay. So uh, now let, let's 925, and I don't think they'll person limit. Okay, causing surround. It's already surrounded. Uh, in Soviet support, uh, none of these hexes. Oh, this hex is in Soviet support. And in Soviet support is is C preference C uh, and not as occupied or adjacent to uh, Soviet unit. It's preference D. So it takes this preference takes precedence. So yeah, this is in support because it's one two three four five from the forward support marker. And this is clearly not. So this is in support. Wow. Well, mm, that's uh, that's interesting. I mean, if you watch Grant's videos, you will have, you will have already come uh, across uh, these situations, but it's first for my, my series of videos. So, okay, that was um, 13, and let's go to number 15, which is some, yeah, it's up there. This is number 15 here. So, uh, where would it go? Uh, can it get adjacent to German VP hex and to your objective? Uh, no, this unit can't get adjacent to, to any German VP hex. Okay, 15 and 23. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. No, it can get adjacent. Uh, one, two, three, four. No, it can't get adjacent to any VP hex, but number 27, I think it can. So it can go one, two, three, four, four, four. Yeah, it can and it will go adjacent. It's obviously, it can get in closer. So, yes, it will be adjacent to that and it can't 925 because it can't reach any of the other hexes it's going to be this one one two one two three 
four, four, four. No, no, it can't go. Uh, could it go? One, two, three. No, it would be five here. So yeah, this is the only hex it can uh, reach. So it doesn't just. I um, mean, there are three units. And oh, how many steps? However, yeah, I think it's okay because there these are two step units. Yeah, two, four, five steps, three units. They're perfectly fine. So yeah, that was number twenty-seven. Okay, number twenty-six. Number twenty-six can't move because if it moves by movement, well, it can't reach one, two, three, four. No, it can't uh, be adjusted, but even if it would, it would unsurround this unit. Uh, so, 26 is a no. Uh, have a good... Well, 27 has... Oh, I should have checked this first. Okay, no, no worries, it couldn't move. 27 goes there. And number 33, of course, it also can't move and get... Uh, at least not by uh, movement method 2. Okay, so, that's it. Movement method three open supply supply line. Uh, okay, uh, move to hex that. Oh, sorry. Movement method. Have we checked the restriction? Uh, okay. Do not cause any Soviet unit to become unable to raise supply unless move ends in German VP hex, and we have forgotten to check. It. Okay, obviously. These units are able to resupply this supply head, but what about these? They've got behind. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay, so this one. Yeah, this one can't resupply because uh, it's one, two, three, four, five. Yes, this is goes on the way to Kharkov and off. This can't resupply. Yeah, no problem. But how about this one? Uh, could this can it trace supply from here? No, this is German mopeds. Uh, yeah, I think it's kind of yeah because it's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. Oh, one, two, around this one, two, three, four. Yes, this is supply. So yeah, they can trace supply, no problem with that. But it's uh, I, I've got to get into habit of uh, checking it thoroughly. Uh, maybe critical. So yeah, uh, movement method three. Uh, open supply lines. Move to hex that enables moving unit or unit in active front unable to trace supply. And uh, now we don't have any units unable to trace supply right now. All, all Soviet units can't trace supply. So no. Okay, so a moment method for two nine spearhead excluded and it's ten five three to five armored spearhead uh, units skip um skip four to nine unless in town or city. Uh, okay, as long as uh, it is and let me uh, mark the spearhead. That's what I had forgotten to do and closing. So, uh, and I moved the. Number method four and six, yeah. So these two are spearhead because they were moved. Okay, these have moved, so yeah, all instructions not to move, so it doesn't apply. And no, we don't have any other spearhead because these one, two, three, four that haven't moved already aren't. Uh, yeah, these have moved or it's stuck, not moved, uh, it's okay. It's just these four infantry units that uh, we should we should focus on for movement methods four to nine because yeah, the other two are spearhead. Okay, so uh, movement method four, descending on cause surround. Uh, okay, all German units are surrounded and yeah, I don't, any of the unit can't reach speed of can, uh, let alone surround this unit. So we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, so eight. It would have to be here and would it, yeah, if it could reach this hex. Oh, you can see it, uh, if a unit could reach this hex, 
it would surround this unit, but I don't think any infantry unit can reach that far. Okay, so uh, now causing surround. The other unit, this is already surrounded clearly. This is now surrounded, so uh, no way. Okay, number five. Two Soviet VPHX moved to empty all garrison Soviet VPHX targeted for active front to which German unit is proximate or in German supply. And I don't think German supply can be traced because uh, there are so many garrisons and stuff. Uh, okay, let's check um, what are empty ones. Okay, Valky is an empty one. Krasnograd is also empty, and if the, there is any chance of tracing supply somewhere, that would be these two, uh, because, um, oh, there's a Belgorod also, but Belgorod not behind Soviet line, so uh, let's try for uh, Valky, would be, no way, uh, Oh, you can see that. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, that's better. So, uh, no, that's okay. Let's ignore the garrison because we can pass between garrisons. But uh, here the line is closed, and this way also the line is closed. And uh, no, there are so many units here. They form a close line. No, it's not to, to Valky. Krasnograd, there's only one unit that's isolated, surrounded, it's not proximate. And German supply, uh, the near supply had to... Oh, no, no, there's two units here that would have to go. Uh, the near supply said it would be... what? Okay, uh, no, there's no supply head close to... Um, maybe from here, map heads. Uh, one, two. Five, no way to pass between these units. No, okay. So, number five, no. Uh, and have we got any armor units sitting alone uh, in a VP hex? Yes, we've got one in Sindel Nikov, but uh, okay. Uh, they can't read, can they? they no, of course they can't reach in the Nikov. <laughs> yeah, they're just infantry units. So yeah, no uh, movement method number five either. Uh, well, okay. Then it's number six ascending order adjacent to German VP hex, and again I don't think they can get adjacent to any because they would have moved by uh, movement method two, but uh, it's worth trying. Okay. It's what uh descending so let's try yeah okay it's 33 can't move uh can't be semi vp hex can move it would then surround this unit 26 also 23 however could it go one two three four no it can't uh one two three four uh one two three four no it can't get adjacent number 15 one two three four no can't get adjusted, they can't get adjusted to German VP hex. So, uh, German unit in logistics, no German unit in logistics hex. So, num movement method number right descending, adjusting to German unit, move to an occupied hex, adjusting to German unit, and not adjusting to Soviet unit. And if they are starting this way, uh, they just 925, it's descending. So, yes, we've got uh, descending order. So, yeah. We've got these two, uh, this one, oops, sorry, number 33 is there. So, uh, it satisfies this. Uh, it can't reach 925 to any other hex. It can reach, can reach this or this, but if it goes to 90, 925, uh, it would break around. So, uh, by restriction, uh, do not cause an non-isol... Ah, it's not... Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Restrictions doesn't apply. Because it says, do not cause a non-isolated German unit to become unsurrounded. Ooh. Have we made a mistake before? No, because they couldn't reach any VP hexes. 
and they couldn't construct on to anything yeah that's the problem because the, the other methods were all causing surround open supply of Soviet VP hexes um, uh, with traceability issues and stuff like that but we couldn't do that uh, no German in logistics either German VP hex not reachable by any of these units so yeah uh, th th that's okay so 33 move to an occupied hex adjustment term prefer adjustment Okay, if it's starting satisfying this method, does not 925 then, yeah, it applies and so proceeds movement method. Prefer hex, operational limit, causing surround, yeah, this is the hex that could cause surround. It doesn't say anything about, yeah, it would be 925. And so, yeah, I think uh, 26 will do the same. Because this would this would be the preferred hex by nine twenty five and not because it can't move. Uh, yeah, it would move uh, within operational limit, but uh, the whole map is in operational limit, and then it's causing surround the next preference. So it's already in the hex that is causing surround. So yeah, okay. I I think I've got it right. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. This movement is going to be eliminated soon. So. So, uh, next, adjustment to German unit. So, let's, 23, as I've said, can't reach uh, Poltava, it can't reach Piedovka, uh, it could go here. Adjustment, just adjustment to German, move to unoccupied hex, adjustment to German unit, and not adjustment to Soviet unit, no. Uh, I mean, it would violate uh, one of these causes, so no. And the number 15 is the same, one, two, three, four, uh, one two three four one two three four no it can't reach any hex adjustment to a german unit well, apart from this one of course but uh, one two three four uh but this would be adjusted to uh okay so no uh movement method eight for these two units and the last unit uh the last units uh method for these two units are number nine uh, relief garrison, move to garrison hex, targeted for active fraud, and in Soviet supply, well, everything is, and in German supply, or to hit German supply, is uh, traceable. Um, okay, this unit can't reach any garrison because it's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, not 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, no, can't reach any garrison. So it's down to this unit, which can also reach only this guy, so it's one, two, three, four here, yeah, it can't reach, uh, uh, one, two, three, no, it's only this garrison, but is this garrison, it's obviously in Soviet uh, supply, but is it in German supply, uh, or the nearest supply head is, yes, is this one, because, no, this is, so yeah, it would go, yeah, it is one, two, three, four, five, yeah, so yeah, it's going to be relief garrison, move the garrison targeted for active, oh, no, it's not targeted for active front, uh, so no, it going to move by movement method uh, nine at all, yeah, these are, all, these are not targeted, yeah, it can't reach any of the hex, uh, so, uh, we have already established that Krasnograd or um, Valky are not, uh, uh, supply is not traceable there, so no, it doesn't move. So, yeah, at end of spearhead restriction, so, yeah, these units come also into play. And it's interesting what's going to happen with them. So, uh, movement method 10, ascending order, follow movement arrows, and yeah, this is the first one. Uh, yeah, no, the movement arrow is straight into these units number six then yeah movement arrow here it can't just uh, zok to zok so no and then it's number 15 uh movement arrows yes there is one one two three one two three four here by primaries so let me uh one one sorry one two Three, four, here, primary arrow. Uh, it could go uh, one, 
two, three, four here, uh, one, two, three, four here, go one, two, three and four, three, one, two, three, one, two, no, not one, two, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four here, yeah. So the, these are the hexes that it can reach. So, uh, prefer move the ends in an occupied hex or occupied be uh, furthest in hexes from start. So it, this is one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four. This is one, two, three, four, yeah. Uh, okay, and closest to objective, uh, yeah, it's obvious that this one is closest to objective, so it would go here. So that goes to number 15, and the same will go for number 23. So yeah, but we've got two primaries, this is for Voronezh front, so it will follow these arrows. So it will be uh, one here, two here, and then three four by primaries or uh, one two three four one two three four or uh, one two three and four and uh, okay first ends in an occupied hex so this doesn't count then furthest thing hexes from start uh obviously this is not this is one two three four this is this is one two three four this is just one two three so uh, this goes away and and closest to objective uh this is one two this is one two it's the same oh sorry let's see the objective yeah that's the objective so this is uh one two this is one two same distance from objective and then uh follows primary arrows and i think this oh that's i uh, forgot uh, this was then occupied so yeah close then this would leave us with just the sex so it would be uh one here two here three here and four here forgot the occupied hex so yeah that's it and no adjustments so that was movement method 10 and we've still got two units that haven't moved and let's see what will happen to them uh 11 closest to front objective move to hex closer to front objective and it's ascending order and yes i think they will move because uh moving them away doesn't expose anything in there they're not within four they were not distracted to uh remain here so this would go two three across the river four into that five six yeah this would be closer to objective and uh, wait, so could it also go uh two here four here five no, it can't cross here. Five is six. Yeah, that would be it can't get any closer. Or that would be closest objective. Um, does it break anything? Could it go on two, four, five, six? One, two, three, that's one, two. Yeah, I think that's the only hex it can go. Two then, four, five, six. It definitely is cl closer to objective. It doesn't break anything because the zone of control is still there, and no German unit can be proximate to one, two. No, it can't. Uh, but uh, let's check for six, number six. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, okay. German supply can't be traced through here. Uh, no, but not because of this unit again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 
seven yeah classroom can dissolve to supply and this unit doesn't uh affect anything oh, yeah this this gap but this unit has nothing to do with this gap so yeah i think it's going to be same here uh well then this would be a supply head of this unit moves out but then again uh it's one two three four five six seven yeah no mm. no and yeah how about uh then supply head would be here and it would be one two three four five six seven no 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 six can't the countries there countries here it's one two three four five and stop because we've got zone control here zone control here so no okay the, the, this will do almost the same so it would go uh two here three five six here and if i'm not mistaken started from here uh it could also go two three four five six here no no it goes two three five six yeah that's closest to objective it's one two three this is one two three four yeah this is the preferred could go here but then it would be again uh, one two three four this is one two three so yeah that's the uh, preferred hex and i think right now all all units in uh, third tank army have either moved or instructed uh, not to move uh, yeah the line is still closed no german supply can be traced to anywhere that matters actually so yeah this is one two three four five six seven no we can't reach krasnogard german supply can't reach krasnogard right now well so yeah that's uh, that's the end of the movement methods for uh, number a third tank army and okay then it's going to be the uh, attack checks so it's time for the attack checks and it's ascending order so uh, yeah this is unit number one so this goes first and uh, let's not forget about the reserve uh, the active reserve unit uh, okay mm, let's see it's four eight and ten thirteen it's eighteen against uh it's six 18 against 6 so that that's a 3 to 1 uh let's say broad no uh, attack would not be on in soviet support well i think the attack is in soviet support because it just takes one hex uh let's check the support rules just to be sure about that uh this is Okay, let's see, support. Okay, and supported attack, a Soviet attack in which all the participating Soviet units and the German defenders are in hexes outside Soviet. If at least one attacking unit or the German defenders are in hexes in Soviet support, the attack is supported. So I think, yeah, it is supported because of this, the forward support marker. It's, uh, oh, it's up here. Uh, yeah, so it's one, two, three, four, five. So yes, these units are in support. So the attack is supported. So yeah, that's uh, uh, no dispersed yet, no auto supply yet. So yeah, it's uh, just uh, it's three to one, uh, and of course because there is also um, 
the reserve limit which is a 6 that would be definitely a 4 to 1 so yes this uh, this goes ahead so let me um, mark them as attacking no need to calculate tactical value uh, yeah just let me get the, yeah that's better so that's again it's just it's uh, 3 to 1 as it is Okay, again, uh, 4, 8, 10, 13, 18, 18 against 6, that's, uh, that's a 3 to 1 attack, and uh, let's, let's, let's go here, and 3 to 1, and how many cheats, uh, it's, okay, minimum cheat is 4, because we've got 4 steps, and uh, maximum is 1, 2, 3, 4, Five cheats because uh, there's no assault coordination, there's no auxiliary card. Oops, yeah, that's three to one attack. Uh, five cheats uh, right now, just the units. So, uh, I think the next step is to place a, a reserve unit and yeah, placement of reserve units. Okay. Uh, yeah, first add active reserve units, but not one attack overwhelming. Well, it's far from being overwhelming, so yeah, another unit goes in. So, um, there's only one active reserve unit, so yeah, this one it's a three step unit. So let's see uh, where shall it go. Uh, adjacent to Hexa under attack and in Soviet reserve uh, supply. Uh, okay, Soviet reserve supply. Um, it's like normal supply, but it can't pass through uh, uh, German zones of control. I mean, okay, in no way. Okay, this is definitely, well, this is. Not empty, uh, but th this we can trace German reserve supply here and here, definitely. Uh, and of course, uh, units should be proximate and non reserve is proximate to the hex, yeah, easily. Oh, yeah, and the active it says in the active front, non reserve in active front is in or proximate to the hex, yeah, all hexes. This goes for all hex. Well, this one is no. We can't place reserve supply here in this hex because of our zones of control. We've got a zone still got a zone of control here and zone of control here. And the presence of friendly units does not negate it for uh, reserve supply. So that's the only hex they can't place right now, but they can place in all uh, other hexes. Okay. Uh, Placement would not violate stacking limits, so clearly it can't be this hex, it's only one of the uh, four other hexes. Uh, with an operational limit, yeah, everything is, uh, and if objective removed, it's not. So, and of course not a German town or a city. So we've got, okay, in Soviet support, if attack unsupported, no, the attack is supported. Causing surround already surround, not across the Dnieper hex side, no. Causing target to be flanked, already is flanked, unoccupied hex, okay, so it's one of two, and then these two, and then it's uh, highest hex number, so yeah, that would be uh, this one. And uh, we'll have to keep in mind that this is reserved, so. Uh, no, it's, we haven't got any other reserve to add. So that's all the units. So now uh, another six goes. It's and it's twenty four to six. So it's now the things are getting pretty ugly. It's four to one, and because this is this three step unit, that's seven. It's already a large attack. Seven. Who is the seven? Yeah, it's seven. It's we draw, and okay. Is it overwhelming? No, it's not overwhelming yet. So they will get to draw a combat. No, would have to be at least five to one. So it's going to be uh, 
Soviet combat tactic. Soviet combat tactic. And uh, yeah, they, they're going to get it back. It's assault coordination. Uh, no. Oh, okay, can you? Oh, I've lost focus. Okay. Assault coordination. So yeah, let me try and focus. Okay, assault coordination. So it's going to be even worse because they they are going to get it back, and and uh, because we have no units to add to this unit, so assault coordination. All non-active units suggest that there are no such units. So if no units are added via assault, add two combat draw and reduce attacker hits by one. So uh, this goes to it would go to 8, it will go to 9. Oof. 9 seats, and we are surrounded. Ooh, that's ugly. This is going to be ugly. 9 seats, so, but, uh, and, and they get, and, and this guard, and this card is getting shuffled back. I mean, come on. They got really So, 4 to 1. Nine seats, and can we play a combat tactic? Uh, where is that? We're not at... okay. Reinforced battle. Oh, come on, uh, artillery. Reinforced. We've got air power and battlefield replacements. Uh, but I need every single of these cards. Come on, I mean, there's three prime reams. Battlefield replacements, uh, is it? Let's see if it's good. Uh, defender on flip one, defending one, step infantry. No, uh, no, so uh, the, this one we don't, I don't even consider it. Okay, reinforced battle. Uh, we've got two reinforced battles. Uh, and both one is primary, one is auxiliary. Uh, ah, nah, come on, this is not turn four, and we got it on turn five. Okay, uh, reinforced battle. I don't think we can reinforce with anything. Uh, select one active or inactive stack, move or attack, the selected unit base supply, and in the same army. Okay, the closest units would be the second assess, and they have to reach. No, okay, they, they've got to reach this hex, and they can't. They can't go around. So, no reference battle either. Uh, well, we've got the corpse rush artillery, but uh, come on, it's and yeah, even worse. I want to deploy. Uh, come on. Artillery and air power. Air power would be nice because uh, it can be quite punishing. And artillery. Should we give them? Yeah, okay. Why not? Pro it's probably the end. <laughs> uh, I don't think we can hold. So it's artillery we play. Uh, they don't get another. We don't get another cheat because it's uh, only the attacker. Okay, so draw a bit card. Apply. It. Check auxiliary. No auxiliary. Uh, play German cards. Check like combat tactics. Skip if all targets are unsupplied or dispersed. No, okay, so we've got artillery and then just it's time for cheat draw and uh, yeah, okay, so uh, I will have to find space for nine cheats. So, yeah, let me. Um, I mean, I know it's going to be here and edge of the map. Yeah, I don't want to not have the battle uh, visible. So, nine seats. Uh, we've got artillery, and no, they've got. Uh, they get to ignore one hit, don't they? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. It was so close to being unsupported. Just by one hex. Okay, so uh, 
yeah three to one uh, it goes on first hit uh, yeah second hit and because we're surrounded we're going to lose every one of these hits okay that's good city no it's town it's oh it's easy this way <laughs> yeah okay that's good ah oh, yeah keep them coming yeah it's it's they replenished it so uh, that was very good that was very good so that's uh they replenished it but we don't have any tits to to get so all apply right now uh we will ah we will get to get the other is this person supplied think it's the priority so thankfully we are not yet unsupplied or dispersed so yeah city town woods oh greater than 1.5 to 1 it is less than no so yeah there goes okay the supplies two okay German air power or Soviet not supported that was so close and then Soviet air power uh, no one has air power so let me get this so that was uh, what six oh come on that, that, that was lucky sit down yeah we need it uh, so it's what it's um, six eight ah come on attacker command four or five uh, no, it's it's a three, it's a three. Uh, this person supplied no, so this doesn't apply either. And what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and maybe just maybe we survive this. And okay, but no artillery. Ah, come on, greater than two to one. Less or attack not supported. Yeah, we got a hit. So. Yeah, that's let's count again. It's uh, very shuffle cheat, but uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine cheats, uh, two don't apply, all the others apply. So let's count uh, our hits. Uh, so minus one, minus two, I mean, oh, it's just one. Okay, let's these two cancel each other these two cancel each other yeah so this one cancels this one yeah so for every uh, let's get them okay uh, for every one we've got a minus one uh so yeah so that's the only one that remains that's attacker one defender one uh but but oh come on that's lucky we are in a town so we get to ignore one hit and of course because of the combat tactic they also get to ignore one hit so we've survived the four to one nine hit but of course we've wasted no artillery showed up uh so back into the mug uh our card gets discarded but their g card uh, gets shuffled in okay okay this attack is over but we've, we've got more attacks to come well we've just one more attack uh i in all probability, it will go their way. So, yeah, oof, shuffle them. So, uh, the only other units that are uh, adjacent to German um, units is this one here yeah that's better 
Okay. So that's this unit is isolated. So that's uh, th three. So this attack will go on. And that's three against two. And the attack is considered overwhelming because we're isolated. Yeah, we get to ignore. Uh, it's the, in the it says here. Uh, effects of out of isolated infantry mechanized armament. Uh, enemy attackers may draw two extra combat sits and disregard all attacker uh, sits. Okay, uh, armored units are considered unarmored also. Uh, does not exist under control. So, attack checks. Uh, let's get to the attack check. Mm. Okay, I'm sure it was here somewhere. Okay, all defenders are isolated regardless of ratio, so attack goes on and I, I, I think it's considered overwhelming too. Yeah, all defenders all defenders are isolated in non VP hex. So yeah, this is this is clearly a non VP hex. So yeah, this is automatically an overwhelming attack. So what do we get as overwhelming attack? Hmm. They don't draw a combat. Okay, add active reserve units. Okay, no. Uh, reserve units. Uh, unless overwhelming. It is. Draw Soviet card. Check auxiliary. Uh, skip if attack. Overwhelming. It's overwhelming. Uh, so, playing German cards and not playing any other card. Totally need them. Uh, oh, of course it's isolated. Can't play combat tactic. So, it's combat. Uh, street combat. It's, so, it's one. It's, uh, it's a one to one again. It's three against two, it's a one to one, this doesn't change, and they got two four cheats. One to one four cheats, they, got, they get to ignore all hits, they just need to get uh, one hit on us and we uh, history. That's why uh, it, it goes on regardless of ratio. Uh, yeah. And if my unit is limited, it will be destroyed, I can't get it back. So, uh, two extra and disregard. Okay. Uh, so, four cheats. German air power. No. Soviet air power. I, I wouldn't waste the cards here because the attackers. Uh, we will ignore all hits. Yeah, this person supplied. That's the priority. A defender, no, but that's the priority. So, I'm keeping this one. Uh, city or attack not supported. No, clear. No, it's a broken hex. This doesn't apply. And the last city is woods or broken. Oh, oh, it's this person supplied. That's the priority. Come on. So yes, it's. Haven't got their plan sheet, no. So uh, that's the problem now because this unit is isolated. It got two hits. They don't get anything anyway. Uh, it's it's uns yeah, it's unsupplied. I mean, isolated is clearly unsupplied. Uh, so we get two hits, and. Well, even if we won, we would be history because we can't retreat anywhere. It's two hits, and well, uh, I could retreat. Can we retreat? Uh, no more than one hex. Ah, infantry unit. Mechanized may not move or retreat. So yeah, uh, it's isolated. So this is over. This is destroyed. So it's getting back in the box. We're not getting this back, and of course. No isolated marker, yeah, the Soviets got it their way here. Uh, that's the second st good stack I'm losing due to surround 
basically. We just surrounded it. Yeah. As I've said, I should have kept uh, retreat, retreat, retreat until, uh, yeah, being somehow safe, I suppose. Yeah, okay. Uh, it was lucky that we were still. Uh, like was to still hold Pultava, but okay, uh, so it's advance and uh, yeah, just infantry and yeah, it's just the attacked hex here, uh, nothing else, it's not closed or anything. So it's the attacked hex, isn't it? So it's no units there. Uh, it's a new roll of 1 to 7, 26, new roll 1 to 7, will uh, advance, it's a 2, uh, so it will advance, and it's uh, infantry can't go second hex, so it's, it was 2, and number 33, uh, it's again, uh, no primary or secondary arrow, uh, Hex enabling supply, no cross river, no secondary, if advanced, second, no. So it's just uh, closer to objective. Yes, this is closer to objective, but again, it's the same. It's closer to objective. So uh, for this unit, it wasn't for this, but it is for this. So it's only one to three because there's already one unit there. It's three. I didn't roll very much, but. Okay, it's three, so yeah, and this concludes the attack phase. So now let's continue. Uh, okay, place eligible active reserve units on map. No uh, active reserve units, it was placed uh, for the attack on Poltava. And now remove eligible active units to reserve box. Uh, we've got plenty of units, but I don't think... No, no eligible unit, because all units have either uh, moved or attacked. I mean, the only units that haven't, the only unit that had, uh, that ha that have didn't move were these two ones that attacked, and the other, number one, uh, did, did move also, number one here, also didn't move, but it attacked, so all other units have either uh, attacked or uh, moved, so they're not again eligible for removal. Uh, okay, place IP on one uh, supplied Soviet unit, but all units have either moved or attacked, so they don't get to get an IP. Remove dispersed marker for optic units, no such marker. And okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, that's the uh, that's the Soviet first Soviet impulse. Uh, amazingly, we still hold Poltava. I don't think it will it will be for long. Uh, but maybe this, this gives us a little bit of breathing space to, you know, to get it, uh, to get, try to leave it somehow or get something there. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, uh, so it's, uh, yeah, discard the third tank army card. And yeah, it's time for the German Impulse 1. Oh, okay, so this is German Impulse 1. These are the four cards we've got. Uh, okay, we don't have any... Uh, you can activate Second Assess, uh, but it holds Priyadovka. And uh, I'm not willing to let it go just yet. Uh, just won't be. And the event, it's overextended, but, uh, well, I could use it to place uh, dispersed markets on all Soviet units in three hexes, not in Soviet support. Well, I would help use it to help it Poltava, but the bulk of their unit, uh, 
I don't think uh, because the tank army, yeah, the attack would still, they would still get an attack, and probably if they activate, they're going to be reinforced. So this one now expedites. I can't. Uh, 40th Corp. I'm not ready to play. It. They've got reinforcements. I don't know if I want to bring in reinforcement stuff. Uh, here's the. Panzer, I don't have any reserves for this. Maybe it's time to activate those units. And uh, the thing is that what I'm, uh, I don't know if I can do anything for Pultava because uh, I can uh, use this to bring some strong uh, reserves here. But it would be to be two hexes away. Uh, Mapa is hex and two hexes away. So uh, then I would have to wait for another card to activate them. The other thing is, you know, activate the units I've already got, try to break free, uh, I mean, try to attack uh, the weakest unit here, which is an infantry unit in a clear hex, and it's not supported, but it would be a weak, ah, yeah, it would be a weak attack. Uh, but I don't know if we get an attacker one hit this, it's worse, and uh, well, they'll get a hit. If, even if they get a hit, uh, so they're out of support, so they won't get a combat. Well, it's a weak attack. Yes, an uh, infantry unit. But it would be what? It's 6 to 4. That's not even 2 to 1. It's 1 to 1. Uh, that, that's quite desperate. The other thing would be uh, to deploy. Uh, let me show you. To deploy units of uh, 48. Uh, it would have to be either here, this hex, uh, because it has to be Muppets, or because we can't, we have to be three away. Uh, it's got to be this one, reducing the distance to two hexes from this unit, or this one, I think that's preferable to the hex from here. And then we'd have to wait, to actually wait and react them to reactivate so we can do you know, something surround the unit or yeah uh, I would then probably move them here surround this unit and then try an, uh, an attack strong attack but I don't know what card we will have so I'm more inclined to you know create some more problems uh, maybe for the Soviets uh, and yeah, I can't, I can't reach Voltava. I can, uh, I would love to get something here so they can keep, can keep them supplied, and you know, just fight it out. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know. Depends on what cards I get, I suppose. Uh, I mean, if, even if I uh, get these three out of supply because I can't, these are in support due to the Soviet forward support market. If I get these three dispersed. Then next activation, these two units will move here and here, and they will again. Uh, at, it will then again be a supported attack uh, with the same odds or stuff. So uh, it will be for almost for nothing. Uh, so uh, okay, uh, what I think I'm going to do is. Yeah, okay, uh, uh, I'll try. okay, maybe it's not the way the scissors, but I'm thinking of play of activating the 42nd uh, Puncher, no, the 57th, sorry, uh, Puncher Corpse, and, you know, try to, you know, create a couple of problems for the Soviets, uh, not much of problems, but maybe start threatening their lines yeah yeah okay we'll let's do that so I'm playing also you can see that so I'm playing this card uh, I will remain here so I'm playing this card and I'm activating all uh, the 50 7th 
corpse that was the primary and I just hope we get secondary as well to activate them again uh, so these are the units here called the Dnipropetrovsk so okay uh, since we activate this garrison goes away disappears so okay let's start by uh, okay uh, I'm not leaving this completely empty so uh, what I'm going to do is uh, first go one two three a unit gets here and yeah I know it stops because it's adjusting to garrison uh, okay and then the other unit will just go one two three and stop so this way we're blocking Soviet uh, supply com coming through this crossroads. Uh, I know we've got a gap in our lines, and but uh, I'm getting this into Dnipropetrovsk. I uh, hope it will manage to hold on by its own. And uh, I think we, we can trace supply here to this and. You know, next activity these guys will go, and maybe we can even uh, uh, proxy, maybe proximate if this next activation this will, it would be easy to go. Uh, this will go when we can, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six into Krasnograd. Uh, and in fact, we're placing a unit right now as proximate Krasnograd uh, because I don't think they count when we count proximity. And yeah, and also not proximate because they, but Pavlograd, they can't leave uh, Pavlograd. It's certain that we can now trace German supply to Pavlograd and Sinelnikovo. Well, uh, they will probably uh, get a unit out of Sinelnikovo, but uh, I, I'm quite confident I can handle this one. Hopefully, that is. So uh, that's the end of the German impulse. We activated and okay, let's get the relative marker to remind us that we have activated this formation. Well, that is if we can find the marker that is, yeah, that's it. We have activated formation here so. Now, uh, we've got to replenish our hand and it's one to, one to three cards and our hand is five. So let's draw two cards. And, oh, that's nice. Well, a corpse rouse. Ooh, stuff confused. I can, maybe, maybe, but I would love to have, and yes, yes. Well, I can't activate them. Uh, I can't activate them uh, right now, but next maybe some stuff and then this one. Yeah, th th that gives us some potential, I suppose. So that was also German impulse one and uh, yeah, this was activated. So the, yeah, German impulse one and uh, that's the end of this uh, part as well. So. That's all for now. See you uh, in the next part.